This video is going to show you how to create a polygon and measure its angles. So first of all we're going to create a polygon using the polygon tool. And I like to create one that's not filled in because it's going to make it easier to see the angles when we measure them. So first of all you need to decide how many sides you want your polygon to have. So I've gone for a five sided polygon, a pentagon. And now I'm going to measure the angles. And to do that I'm going to use the marker tool. And I'm going to, I'm holding the mouse button down and I'm moving from one line to the other. So I hold the mouse button down on one line, move and release. Mouse button down, move and release. Mouse button down, move and release. There we go. Now, I'm going to measure these angles. So we click on it and we go to the rather well named measure menu and we measure the angle. There we are, that's that one. And you'll see it's labelled. The, um, the angle, so this is angle A, B, C, and that's because the angle here is from A to B to C, and B is in the middle, so it's formed by A, B, and B, C. So we measure this one. That's that one, drag it over here. Now, actually just going to right click on here and select the properties, and we do need to make sure that it's set right. So if you notice the arrow is going anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, just change the settings on them to counterclockwise. And because I did them all in the same direction, they're all going to be counterclockwise. But you need to look at your own arrows to decide should you be going counterclockwise or not. Okay, let's measure the last few. Measure angle. Measure angle. Just as a thing, notice um, if I click on this now and go to measure, it's it's greyed out. And the reason is, this is quite common with Geometer Sketchpad. Um, if you can't select something on a menu, it's because you've got too many things selected. And if you notice, I had this and this selected. So if it's a grey menu, click in the white space and try again, and you'll find that it normally works. And there we go. We've got all our angles measured now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a calculation. And that's on the number menu, calculate. And I'm going to add up all of these angles. So that angle, add that angle, add that angle, and the next one, and the next one. And if you add them all up, rather interestingly, you get a rather nice number here, 540 degrees. And if we change these angles here, then you'll notice that while the actual angles themselves change, what they add up to doesn't change. And if you look very carefully, that's because so when I move this one here, these two angles are getting smaller, but this angle is getting larger. Notice until it's, a, it's 180 degrees there almost. And so the effect of moving any of these just means that the when you make one bigger, another one gets smaller to compensate, and there's always 540 degrees there. So you're going to use this idea now to investigate other polygons. Have fun.